the F8 in total produces 10% more downforce than its predecessor. The most obvious of these changes is the S duct. As airflow comes through the front bumper, it is then accelerated out this channel and over the top of the car. But they also added special ducting to the front of this bumper to channel more air into the brakes. So they would add special veins to the floor known as vortex generators that would accelerate airflow out the sides of this car, creating a vacuum effect. Located within the spoiler are three little veins. They added these to recompress the air and move any turbulent air away from the back of the car. This car has an active rear diffuser, meaning that part of it actually moves as you change speed with this car. At low speed, it stays in place, allowing airflow to be accelerated out the back of the car, generating more downforce and giving you more stability. At higher speeds, this flap will open, reducing the drag, a very clever aerodynamic solution from Ferrari.